Hey, this is Lotus Comics Press. I'm here with the Glam Gore Girls. Is that how you pronounce it, guys? Glam Gore Girls, That's yes. That's awesome. Yes. I wasn't sure if I pronounced it right. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tongue twister for you. You got to get used to saying it. I'm here with Jeremy. What's your last name, Jeremy? Uh, Lubash. Lubash. Yes. Dude, yes. that's awesome. I know, right? That's, that's like the best last name in the world. That's really cool, it man. Is. It's very it horror-oriented. It is, yeah. So. I, think, I think it might catch on with the horror community someday, hopefully. So tell me a little bit about your group, Ben. Uh, well, basically, we're called the Glam Girl Girls, like you said. It's uh, combining glamour mm -hmm. with blood and gore. Um, we do a lot of live action comics on our website. Yeah. So, uh, if you, and it's all 100% free on our website. There's no like fee or like anything like that. But uh, we, uh, yeah, I mean, they, all the girls, the models, like right here, we Who have are these ladies here. This is Isis. She's our uh, vampire. How are you? Good. Yourself? I'm good. Awesome. And this is Mister. All right. She's, uh, right now, she's not in her getup, but she's like a twisted ringleader, ringleader for a circus. Uh, but yeah, each girl uh, has a character and a backstory, mm -hmm. and we kind of go off our photo shoots off of what their character is and stuff. So how about uh, these two ladies? What are, the, what are their backstories here? Well, Isis, uh, she was she's a little better at, bit better at explaining it. Uh, when she was younger, her dad tried to murder her, but okay. didn't succeed. Well, he killed my mother, and so I tried to kill him for killing her, and he ended up beating me. And Sorry so, to hear that. So I, I have yet to <laughs> get my vengeance on Did you seek therapy or anything? Well, I was put in a mental institution. Well, there you go. That's therapy, you know. Oh, well, yeah. And it was some horrible therapy. I, I am being sarcastic, by the <laughs> way. Well. So how did you get the teeth? I mean, uh, prosthetics? Uh, well. Or maybe not. Maybe you actually are a real vampire? We, ha we haven't got to that part of her story yet. It's not been released to the public. We're doing like a slow backstory of how she got to how she is. So okay. that part has not been released yet. But well, I don't want to talk about anything that hasn't been released, but yeah. let's talk about something that has been released. Okay. I hear you doing, uh, off, off record, we talked about you directing some horror movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. tell, tell me a little bit about that. Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I got my start with this whole thing is I uh, did some short films with friends and stuff like that. And then it's like, you know, you kind of, as time goes on, they get a little bit more professional. I saved up and bought some, like, expensive equipment and stuff. But uh, I was asked to do a, uh, I was second unit director for a remake of the old classic Die, Sister, Die. Okay. Um, and we got uh, Brink Stevens, who is one of the original Scream Queens. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a awesome. very nice lady. She uh, was flown out to Lincoln, Nebraska. We're based in Omaha, Nebraska, the group, yeah. but uh, traveled to Lincoln, Nebraska, and uh, filmed with her for a weekend. And that's awesome. I mean, it was quite an experience for me. I mean, I'm jealous. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. I, yeah. I, I would be too. Did you get she, to shake her hand? Oh, I, I got. I got to hug her. I mean, it was great. I got to ride in a limo with her from no. uh, Omaha to Lincoln. So any was, cool stories you got? She told me a few of them. I know she was very tired when she got off the plane, but yeah, she was telling some old stories about when she was on set. I don't know if I can tell them or not. She okay. kind of was telling me in confidence. Fair enough, but, fair but enough. Yeah, but but I mean, moving on, Yeah. so you do comics, mm -hmm. you do horror stuff. Yes. Models, I would say you're doing the whole modeling gig kind of thing, but yes. in a horror atmosphere. Yes, yeah. So where, what's the overall goal? That you're trying to get to, as far as, you know, I, just, you know, Texas Frightmare. I mean, th this is our first the girls. Conven convention we did. I mean, we had a blast here, and yep. it, we got a positive response. So, I mean, we love to just travel around and go to different states all over and Man, stuff. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Uh, but I mean, I, I mean, our whole goal and concept is to just entertain people. I mean, that's great. We're, everybody that's in this group, models, photographer, makeup artists, and stuff. We all have a love and a passion for what we do. And I, I mean, can relate to that. Yeah. And so, I, I mean, it's something that we can all do together. And I, we have fun doing it. I mean, it's a drama-free atmosphere yeah. when we're shooting. It's just like, it's always a blast. So, I mean, entertainment is our number one goal. So, do you guys do autographs? I mean, yeah. pictures? Yeah. Oh, no. Photo ops? Yeah? yeah. That's, see, that's awesome, guys. They were, uh, the first night they were charging a dollar for a spanking. And really? That, that, one victim. Yeah. That's that awesome. One victim. Everyone's a little bit afraid. What's the next goal in mind for uh, this, uh, as far as this convention's concerned, do you feel like you accomplished your goal? Oh, I, I think so. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, our, our biggest fear is coming here and just having people walk by and not pay attention to us. But I mean, 
our booth has constantly been busy the whole time we're here and it's just That's been awesome. nothing but a positive response and so our next thing we have booked is uh, we're going to be going to Kansas City to Crypticon. I've and heard that, of that. That's going to be in uh, August, I believe. And so, Sid Haig is supposed to be there. Yeah, Sid Haig, Bill Mosley is supposed to be there too again. So, yeah, um, hopefully we get a good positive response there too. And, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, yeah, that's that's our next goal. I mean, since being here, we've been offered uh, to come to a, a couple other conventions. And nice. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, keep us informed. Sure. And, ladies, you guys do an amazing job at the costumes, the performance, the overall acting of the character. I mean, I love it. You guys have a great concept. Now, as far as it, if you have, obviously you have a fan site or a website of some sort, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you can go to the website, which is just glamgorgirls.com. Okay. And then if you go on Facebook and look us up, just type in glamgorgirls and we should be the first thing that pops up there. And then each of the individual models, mm -hmm. uh, they have their own like fan page. Okay. Um, it's usually just like hers is like Glamour Girl Isis model and you just look her up and if you go on our, our regular fan page you can find them all on there too and look them up that way well very cool we'll have some more information about the glam gore girls at lotuscomics.com and we'll see you here next time at lotuscomics.com thank you bye bye